Wasn't that an incredible choir yesterday night? <laughs> Please let us say thank you to Jochen of Radialsystem who uh, Yesterday, uh, Tatjana Koenig, who served for seven years as um, managing director of the Falling Walls Foundation, said to me, Sebastian, you would not believe how wonderful this conference is if you don't have to organize it. <laughs> so I promise you, I, I'm sure it's like that, I don't know, but I'm, I promise you a wonderful day. Uh, today with outstanding people from around the world who share their knowledge. And I would like to take as little as time as possible away from these brilliant people uh, in welcoming you. And just let me tell you what happened over the last year. Uh, the Falling Walls uh, initiative uh, grew further and further. Uh, there are still white spots on the map to uh, cover, but a bit already is with us. Uh, we welcome all of you, all the bright minds from around the world that contribute to this uh, gathering um, that helps us to exchange, have a better understanding, and uh, solve problems. We have, over the last year, uh, further grown and developed programs. One of them you may have uh, participated in uh, the uh, Berlin Science Week now has incredible number of outstanding speakers. It involves tens of thousands of people. And a very new program is Young Entrepreneurs in Science, where uh, Jürgen Lüneck raised the very uh, inspiring question, how much startup is in your PhD? It started in Germany. If you wish to align with us, learn about it, please don't hesitate to talk to us. We are happy to bring all these ideas to the world. This uh, development, these new projects, what you're experiencing these, experiencing these days is due to incredible partners that uh, support us for 11 years or um, in the more recent time. Let me just mention, I could read all of them and all of them deserve it, but due to your time, let me just focus. It's the German Ministry of uh, Research and Education. It's the Helmholtz Association, the Robert Bosch Stiftung Foundation, the city of Berlin. We have lots of outstanding academic partners around the world, many corporations that are research driven are supporting us. Uh, many are uh, making their networks available. We gained, largely due to the uh, traveling of Jürgen, we gained global partners, outstanding foundations like the Moore Foundation, the Wellcome Trust, uh, the uh, Jean Zuckerberg um, Initiative, and we are very happy uh, to have you. Just a brief uh, look where we are. Um, uh, on the left side, you do see uh, the location yesterday. On the right side, you see today's location. Both of them are what, uh, in the place that was called the death strip. It was extremely deadly. It was almost it was impossible, more or less, to be here 30 years ago. 30 years and one day later ago, it would have been well, not as friendly as here, but it wouldn't be a problem anymore. Uh, the wall was down, and this is what we celebrate. The um, core idea of this conference, of course, is the freedom of speech. But it's not endless speech. There's a difference. And therefore, we have a couple of help uh, helping elements, helping devices to make um, people um, stick in their time frame. So uh, we have a countdown clock that gives the uh, people who are speaking an idea how much time is left. That's mine. Uh, and. Uh, now, I, I have so much, uh, I, I have so much understanding. If you're working, if you're spending all your life on a core question, treating a, a, a disease or so, how could you possibly pay attention to time? And this is why we have a little help. <clears throat> 
this will be, you, you, you will probably recognize that one as a speaker. Um, uh, 30 seconds to your end, you will listen to that. So then you know it's another 30 seconds. If you can't make it uh, in time, no problem, we have assistance. Uh, Klaus, who is a uh, kind of mascot. Uh, he is one of the few continuing things in this conference uh, from the very first. He's not getting older. Uh, so Klaus will make sure that uh, you have no more attention and you can go to your uh, uh, seat. Klaus, thank you. <laughs> Now, um, there are a little more uh, details I have to share. Um, we cannot make it possible that you have a discussion with the speakers, but you can talk to each and every speaker in the break. There is the um, uh, forum stage, there are discussions, you can talk to the people. It's uh, very uh, uh, involving and you can talk to whomever. You have these audio devices, you need them for that, it will be explained to you. Um, we have tens, ships, whatever is around, check it out. And uh, the core of the whole conference, of course, are the speakers. Um, as I indicated, uh, we have a special historic day. Uh, this is not only the 30th anniversary of the day uh, the wall came down, but it is a, a day of commemoration of the first pogrom in Nazi Germany. It is, um, of course, this breadth of activities makes it even more relevant for us to have a deep understanding and um, it is uh, to us very important to relate to these different aspects. And so I'm welcoming all our guests from Israel and I'm welcoming all our guests from Hong Kong. The mission of the Falling Walls Conference is to look into the future. Having these historic events, looking to the future, raising the question, which are the next walls to fall, we asked an individual to answer who is uh, an outstanding historian. But before this historian will talk to us, um, I would like you to join in a common message. We would like to make use of this conference um, to uh, advocate free science and free speech. Uh, you may have wondered what this is for. This is made for a photo opportunity. Now the photographer comes in. I'll show you how to apply this. <laughs> If you have a haircut that is designed for this, you do it this way. <laughs> no? Please try. If you have a haircut who is not that well made for this, you can do it like this, you know? <laughs> so we are... Photographer, please come to the stage. So... Please put on. We have another 50 seconds. Everything is in time. You all ready? Okay, why don't we stand up? One more picture, standing up, waving. Thank you. You can keep the hat and protect your haircut and your thoughts wherever you are. <laughs> now let me, let me introduce to you 
the individual who is the best suited to bridge what has happened 30 years ago, what's taking place today, and what our answers for the future are. Let me welcome Timothy Garden Ash, one of the most noted historians we have. I read your books when I was in high school, and now I'm having you here. You're there for me. It's uh, as a political scientist, it's uh, the best start possible. Timothy, please come to stage.